Happy Saturday, Penny Pinchers. I am out and about early, dressed to impress. Um, today I am helping facilitate a workshop, so I am headed to get that done. I should be there until about probably like 2, 2.30ish. Um, happy uh, Financial Literacy Month. Today is April 1st, so it marks the start of Financial Literacy Month. So I hope you guys are ready to take on some new challenges. Um, I will be sharing with you all some challenges that I, I think may be beneficial to you. And then also, I just thought about this too. Um, not only is this the start of Financial Literacy Month, but this is the start of the second quarter of the year of 2017. So, you know, whatever you may have fallen short on during um, the first quarter, you can jump back on the bandwagon, get yourself straight, because we're starting a new quarter. So, I will be sharing where you should, well, an idea of where you should be at right now. Um, just some of the things you should, at a minimum, you should have completed. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll be sharing those things with you. Don't mind my GPS. I was looking at it to make sure I'm going the right way because I really don't know where I'm going. But um, I'll get there. That's all that matters, and I'll get there on time. That's the most important thing. But it is a beautiful day. I'm hoping that I will be able to hang out with the kiddo today for a little while. There was an event that I wanted to take her to, but um, I don't know. I got to get my husband to, to bring her, and I probably just have to meet them there. It's always something to do, and um, just trying to have a making sure you have a good support system so that's what helps me so much to get things done otherwise I would be screwed and wouldn't be able to do anything or I just have to spend money on a babysitter all the time so um, but I'm thankful for my husband not because he takes care of our daughter like he should but um, you know it's, it's just nice Not I hate to say this but not everyone has a good support system at home so I am thankful for mine um, but anyway, let me get my butt where I need to be and get focused on the road because it looks like I am driving behind a struggler who is, um, he's driving a manual and I don't think he knows how to shift very well. Um, he, he must not be used to it. So I'm going to get from behind him before he stalls out on the highway or do, does something crazy. And um, I will check back in with you guys when I get to my destination. What is up, Penny Pinchers? It is almost 3 o'clock, so I'm just leaving the workshop. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh. I enjoy participating in things like this because not only do I get an opportunity to share and um, just build for myself professionally, I also get the opportunity to learn new information. I get the opportunity to network. I get the opportunity to learn about new venues that will be great for hosting events. So today has been an amazing day. I look forward to the next stop on the Generational Wealth Tour. If you are interested in bringing the Generational Wealth Tour to your city, your church, wherever, please just send me an email at pennypinchingboss at gmail.com. That's pinching with a G on the end and just let me know when you'd be interested in having it and I will work with my buddy Mr. Javertis Burnett and we will um, work to get a date scheduled for you and you know get a date that works best for us too so we'll get a date scheduled so yeah it's just been a great a great day learn learn so much stuff you know we had speakers there that spoke about uh, real estate investment we have had someone there that was talking about um, group economics, um, you know, the, the black buying power, the black black Wall Street, um, what else did we have, what else did we have, it was, so, it was so much good information. We had someone there that talked about estate planning, which um, I always say that, you know, sometimes you think you, you know what you need to do, but it's always good to seek advice from a professional, so it was great to hear someone that does it as their profession, profession share with me, um, well, share with us about how we should prepare ourselves to make sure that, you know, our assets that we have does not slip through the cracks and get in the, gets in the hands of someone that doesn't really need to have it. So that was amazing. Then we had someone come and talk about how do you actually take advantage of where you are at your, you know, if you're working a career, 
and you know your goal is to be an entrepreneur or maybe you, you know maybe you don't want to be an entrepreneur but how do you leverage what you are doing on a uh, at your corporate job so or your current occupation period so someone talked about that then we had someone talk about basically about what do you need what are your steps to actually starting a business I mean it was just it was just really good it was really, really, really good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So, um, I, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to the next stop. And I'm getting ready to head up in the mall. I have to buy my daughter a mattress. I went and looked at mattresses last Sunday at the church. And then what I what I always do when I make a major purchase, first thing is I a lot of times if I can, I go to the store and I look at like I look at that item. And then after I do that, I go do my research. So I, I don't buy, you know, I'm never rushed to purchase anything. Like I, if I have to do any major pur purchase, even if it's a couple hundred dollars, whatever, uh, I'll go online, look at the reviews. I'll look and see if somebody has it cheaper. I'll, and the reason why you do that is because sometimes some stores, you know, maybe you don't want to pay for shipping. But a store will match a price. Oftentimes, a store will not only match the price, but they will knock an additional percentage off. So when I go up in, I'm going to Sears. So when I go to Sears today, they have a um, coupon that is online. Well, I can order my, my mattress online and just have them ship it to my house, and I still come out cheaper. So I could do that, but what I'm going to do as soon as I get in there, I'm going to see if they will honor that, that coupon. Even though I'm in, like I said, it's in store and that coupon is online only, I'm going to see if they'll still match it. And if not, you know, if you want to play hardball, you just tell them, hey, well, I'll just order it online. And a lot of times if you do that, they'll go ahead and just do, you know, they'll they'll honor it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, go in here. Hopefully I'm able to go ahead and get it order because I, I hate I don't and you don't act ugly I always tell people that now you don't go in there acting ugly it ain't I'm not saying act ugly but what I am saying is you know if you have some desires make them known there is absolutely nothing wrong with that so that is what I'm going to do today I'm going to make my desires known I want this additional I believe it's additional 35 percent off my per not 35 percent excuse me 35 dollars off my purchase so I mean for my little bitty car hat that's darn near that's a whole month's worth gas for me. Like, I really don't fill up, but every, every twice, like, twice every two weeks. Well, I said that wrong. Twice a month. So, um, depending on how much traveling I have to do. And I have to do quite a bit of traveling this month, so I really want to save on um, my gas. Because next next week, I'll be um, doing a little bit of traveling. So, yeah, I am trying to find everywhere I possibly can to save a couple of little ducats. Um, I don't play about saving money, so... But I'm going up in here, and hopefully I'll be able to get this extra thirty-five dollars off. We'll see what they say when I get in here. But I talked to a lady; um, she helped me really nicely. I meant to have I meant to have called her beforehand to make sure she. I know she has to work today, but I'm not sure what shift she works. So I have two stops to make while I'm in the store, well, in the mall. So because um, I ordered my daughter some some shoes, and whenever I order stuff, I typically ship it to the store. If I can, and the reason why I do that is because you do not have to pay shipping to ship to store. So I did order her some sneakers because, like I've told you guys in the past, my child is hard on shoes. And the shoes that I ordered um, the last time, I ordered several different sizes. And one reason for that is because, um, of course, we have to buy sneakers all the time. So I bought her shoes, but I bought them in bigger sizes. So I bought her shoes all the way up to I think size 13 and a half and you know with kids you they'll be there before you know it like you don't even know when they'll get in that size so I went ahead and bought sizes all the way up to um like I said 13 and a half and um what else what else what else what else so I my daughter I bought her a pair of sneakers and I just can't stand when stuff gets all scuffed up once it gets scuffed up we, it becomes downgraded it becomes it's no longer like a shoe that I let her wear to school or wear to um out and about it's a play shoe then so I need to replace a pair of shoes that I did buy her to wear to specifically I bought them specifically for school I bought her another pair of shoes in the correct size but she has not um I'll let them get a little bit not I don't let her mess them up but I let her wear them a few times before then I say well you can go ahead and wear them to school so these shoes I think she's only worn these other shoes like twice so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy her well I went ahead and just bought her some sneakers that were in a darker color because the shoes that I bought her that she's wearing now that aren't messed up, they are, um, God, what kind of shoes is them? 
things. What kind of shoes? They're pink and they're like pink and green. So, um, you know, it's something that I'm not necessarily letting her just wear any of wear. So, now let me tell y'all something. There are some interesting people in the world. Um, I, every time I go out to a public place, I am reminded of that. But I wish I could have shown you what just what I just uh, witnessed, because there, like I said, there's just some there's some interesting people in the world, to say the least. They just a little different. But we go pray for them and, and, and keep them moving. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a nice day, but this mall is cray cray today. Jeez, Louise, it's like people everywhere. Maybe some, somebody got some money. I don't know who it is. But they got some money to spend. This mall is packed. So I'm going to try to find me a um, parking space. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm working on now. Trying to find a parking space that actually makes some sense. And then I guess somebody the Snatch Man is out here trying to repossess someone's car. Because I, um, I don't I, Well, maybe he's shopping on his lunch break. I don't know. But oftentimes that happens. The snatch man will come to someone's job and they will look for their car and maybe that's what's going on now. But, um, and y'all yeah, probably like, who is a snatch man? It's like a repo, the repo truck. Y'all know. I'm sure y'all use context clues and knew what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, this parking is horrendous today. Jeez. I don't know why this parking is so bad. It's so cray cray. Okay. We're gonna, yeah, I just need to, I, I need to go get this mattress. But anyway, I'm gonna, somebody is calling my phone, and then I'm trying to find this parking space, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, but I will check back in in a little bit and let y'all know how it went with the $35 situation. All right, talk to y'all later. All right, what's up, Penny Pictures? I am heading back home from this long and eventful day, but it's been a great day. As you all know, I went to Sears to pick up a mattress for my daughter, and I was able to get that um, coupon order. I said order, order, honor, excuse me. So I was able to get it honored, so that is excellent. Saved me some extra points. Um, so I got that done, and then I picked up her shoes that I ordered for. But they look huge. I don't know, I'm gonna try them on, but it, these look too big for her. My I don't know, it's a little big or too small, but. I'm not complaining. That's cheaper. The smaller your feet are, that's cheap. So the cheaper your, the smaller your feet are, the cheaper the shoes. So I'm not gonna going to complain about her feet being small. Well, I better quit complaining about it. I'm gonna go and let her try these on when I get home, and hopefully she can fit them. But they look a little long. That's why I was hoping that she'd be with me, um, so I could let her try them on. But they end up, she said she wanted to go to the park and she did not want to go to this free event that they had downtown Greenville. So, yeah, I, um, she stayed at the house with her, well, her, she and her dad, they didn't come to Greenville, so, therefore, I was not able to let her try the shoes on when I went to pick them up. Um, however, you know, it's, it's all good. We'll just let her try them on when we get home. And I can always exchange them. So, yeah. I'm sleepy, y'all. I'm going to have to take me a nap when I get home. I'm just exhausted. I don't know. I stayed up kind of late last night, and maybe that's what it is. But I know when I get home, I'm going to rest my nerves. One thing, last night I stayed up to work on a proposal. So, I just submitted one of my first big proposals. Um, I am excited. I am nervous. Um, I hope that they, you know, accept my proposal. I mean, you never know. You, all you can do is, you know, put these proposals in, hope they accept them. If they don't, I mean, they don't. All you can do is try. I mean, there, there's so many other people that do things similar to what you do. Um, and then, you you know, you're, get, you're playing a guessing game. You're not exactly sure... You know what the the summit is about or what the conference is about, but you don't really know exactly what their goal is. Um, well, at least this particular uh, conference did not tell me exactly what their, their goal was. And I did reach out to someone to get a little bit more information, but, you know, they didn't really, they kind of gave me an idea of the target audience, but they didn't really um, 
try to help steer me in the right direction. So, but anyway, I got I did get my proposal submitted. That's the most important part. So, I put myself out there for the opportunity. But this conference today that I attended, a generational wealth conference, it. I don't know. It did something to me. And not to say that I'm slack and I, I'm not focused. No, I, I definitely am focused. But I think it helped me see it and put a lot of things in perspective. I feel like a, a lot of times God speaks through people to you. And that's what today was for me. I really felt like a lot of the presenters that were speaking today were speaking on behalf of God to me. So there's some things that I need to take care of business-wise. And there's some things that I need to do. Um for other businesses that I have in the back of my mind that I've just kind of been sitting on. So, um, so that's what I'm, you know, I know when I get home, I'm going to definitely take me a little nap because I'm tired. And then I'm going to um, spend some time with the kiddo and the hubby and get caught up on laundry because I got laundry waiting on me because I've been gone all day. So on Saturdays, that's usually when I wash our sheets and all that stuff like that. So I gotta do all that when I get back. I, what I probably do is put a load in the in the wash, um, and then I'll take a little nap, and then ask my husband if he'll switch them out, and put them in the dryer, and I'll uh, and maybe I'll have another load sitting out there for him to, to switch for me. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll we'll get we'll get it done. I don't stress about anything. Um, and then there's I, I pray that there's tomorrow for me to get other things done. Because as we know, tomorrow's not promised, which brings me to another point. Um, you know, one of the, the presenters today spoke about estate planning, and I'm gonna be honest. Like I, I mean, I guess when you're younger, you really don't think about I might die, or I mean, we all know that we're we're, we're here to we're all on this earth to die. I mean, let's be honest. But when you're younger, you really don't think about it. And he was telling us he told us a story about somebody that was 18. And they died, and then when they died, um, like you know, of course, we always say, you know, if you don't have been, if you don't have anyone that is dependent on you, then you probably don't need like a huge insurance plan, uh, insurance policy, and you don't need to. Well, I've never told about it. They don't need to, but there's not a lot of emphasis put on um, actually planning, uh, doing a will, actually having a will, because you're thinking, I don't really have any assets. But the thing that happened with this particular story that he shared, he was saying that the young man got hit by a tractor trailer truck and died. I know, he was like 18. So, of course, at 18, who's thinking about a wheel? And he said what happened was the money got put in a, you know, he didn't have a wheel. So, of course, probate court took over. And I don't know how this happened. Well, oh, this is what he said. He said the father went and got a lawyer, and the, the father was somebody that was absent in the son, like he never done anything for the son, but the, you know, he'd always been with his mom. The father went and got a lawyer, and the father was able to get awarded with that $80,000, which we know if this young man would have had a will, he would not have given his deadbeat daddy any of that money, so, um, but yeah, so that's what happened. I was like, man, I, I never have thought about that. I mean, it's like, do you need to... I don't know if a child can get a, a will because let's say if if something happened to my daughter and she's six, um, you know, what would happen? Would it just go through probate court? Do I, I, you know, those are things we all have to think about. And that is why it is so important for you to take time and spend with um, someone to discuss those matters. So that's what I will be doing because, you know, I have my expertise when it comes to financial education. And the things that I'm not an expert in, I definitely, you know, I connect with the people that are experts in those areas. So I don't try to just do everything. And even though I may be researching and I think I know what's going on, sometimes you don't know exactly what's going on. You think, you know, we, you know, when you read it or you see somebody else doing it, it seems easy. But that's not always the case. And, yeah. Um, I got to make sure that I get that taken care some things taken care of when it comes to estate planning. I'm um, just making sure I make time for that because we can't be playing around, man. For any hoosers, I'm getting ready to go grab my child a bite. She made a request for something. And like y'all, I've told y'all before, I do not eat out a lot. I eat out once a week. Unless there's an exception. But um, I will pick up something 
not every day, but if my daughter wants something like once a week, I will pick it up for her. So she made her special request for some pizza, so I'm going to fulfill that request to get her a pizza. It seems like all the good brand of pizzas that I usually, I used to buy all the time because they'd be buy one get one free. They never have them on sale. So, I'm, you know, now there's so many deals at the pizza places. If I'm going to pay $6 for a pizza in the store anyway because they're not buy one get one free anymore for the types of pizzas that I like, um, I might as well just go to a restaurant and get a pizza for the same amount. I'm, I'm uh, Maybe a dollar more because I'm paying for convenience. But... Excuse me, but if we're everybody's getting it, like if I'm buying two pizzas, I'm definitely going to Domino's. So, um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up her pizza, and then I'm going to put a load of clothes in to wash when I get home, and take me a nap because I am just tired. Anyway, well, I don't know if I will talk to y'all later on today, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here. So, as always, it is the Penny Pinching Boss signing off. You guys have a wonderful rest of the day. I don't know where you are, but it is beautiful here. So, you enjoy this beautiful weather. If you also have beautiful weather today, uh, this beautiful Saturday. So, just enjoy it, man. Take, take advantage of it. Don't just sit in the house and do nothing. So, that's what I'm about to do. Take a nap, and then I'm going to enjoy the day. Thank God for the longer days. Alright, but you guys have a great day.